everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the full face using only liquid lipsticks challenge. I originally saw this on Nikki Tutorials channel, but I know that Amy started it, so I will put links to that below so you can have a look at the original. I really wanted to have a go because I own so many liquid lipsticks and the reason I do is because I pick up so many of the drugstore cheap ones. But yeah, if you want to see how I got on doing the challenge, as you can see, this is how it turned out, but if you want to see how I achieved it, then please keep watching. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to do my brows, and I think I'm going to mix a little bit of my NYX Liquid Lingerie. I'm going to mix it with my MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Harmony. Wish me luck. This is intense. I'm nervous. I'm ahead. I mean, they're not that bad, really. Okay, so next I'm moving on to the skin. And for skin, I'm going to use again the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer. I'm going to use my Real Techniques cheek brush. Ooh, that's setting. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even know if this is a colour match either. Nope. like a tangerine, I don't think it looks that bad. Do you know what, because I've got oily skin, this will probably stay on my skin longer than most foundations. <laughs> I doubt I will oil through this. And now because this looks ridiculous, I am gonna take some down onto my neck because if I'm gonna go orange, I might as well go full orange. Shame Willy Wonka's not auditioning. Oompa Loompas. Shame. I don't have anything that's gonna work as a concealer because I don't have anything lighter. So I guess I'm just gonna have to pack some more under my eyes. I'm gonna cover up my dark circles. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to contour and all that I can use to contour I think is just going to be the same one that I used for my brows and I'm just going to take that along my cheekbones, down my nose and the areas that I would usually contour. Gosh, it's dry. Moving on to the eyes. God, look at my teeth. Oh, I need to be this orange more often. Look at these bad boys. I'm thinking to go big, bold, dark. So with my Makeup Revolution Salvation Velvet Lacquer in the shade Velvet Vamp and a little Real Techniques base shadow, shadow, shadow brush, I'm just going to put this straight on my lid and then just buff it out, I hope. I'm just going to go little bit by little bit. No, 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 no. I guess we're having a smoky lower lash line as well. So I'm basically just going to keep building and building. So I'm going to reapply, smoke it out, reapply, smoke it out until I've got the intensity that I like. And I'm going to go in with another fluffy brush, which is just a clean one just to help blend that all. Oh, for heaven's sake, now you want to sneeze? Now? <coughs> oh. So I'm just running that on the inner part of the lid just to get rid of some of this patchiness. God damn. Okay, and then I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush and then I'm just going to intensify that on the outer corner. 
and then I think go back in with this one. The balloon. <laughs> Now I stole a little spoolie from a little brow kit that I have. I'm just going to basically dip that into the dark one that I have and then try and use that to work as a little bit of mascara. Okay, so I'm going to move on to lower lash line. I'm going to take the small brush, so I'm going to take the dark one and just take a little bit on there and run it on my lower lash line. it really close to my waterline because I don't want to really put it in my waterline but I'm just going to take it close to it and then I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter purple and dot that just on the inner corners same again just taking the spoolie and then just using this as our bottom lash mascara okay so I am going to be using lashes and I don't know if that's cheating or not but Nikki tutorials did so I'm gonna I'm going to be using my backstage lashes in Chelsea and I'm going to do the off camera as you have seen me put on lashes turn the damn mid-bowl I look like a panda 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 Okay, so usually in tutorials I hide the drying eyelash glue with black eyeshadow but obviously I don't have that today so we're just gonna have to wait for that to dry so I do apologize if you can see any white I also gave in and I put a tiny bit I was too scared to run anything in my waterline but I just ran a tiny 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 bit of it on this little precise brush just a little bit of the darkest shade but honestly the tiniest bit just to add a little bit of depth because I really don't recommend putting liquid lipstick in your eye so far my eyes haven't started running so we're okay this is MUA Lux metallic liquid lips in luster and I'm gonna put a tiny weeny bit just in my inner corner just to brighten that I did my metallic lip but I didn't like it so I will insert a clip so you can see me applying it but I didn't like it so I'm gonna go with my original plan and my original plan was just to go back in with this one from Makeup Revolution in vamp which seems to be it seems to save the day today, really. So I'm just going to stick that all over the lip. So aside from the fact that I look like an Oompa Loompa, I mean, I think that went pretty well. The eyes were okay. I mean, the light purple was really easy to work with, but the darker one just went really patchy. Um, and the fact that I normally always put something in my waterline I just struggle with but other than that I'm pretty pleased with how I went it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be it was tricky but um, I really had fun doing it so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see any other challenges or anything like that then please let me know down below please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more like this in the future and I will see you in my next one bye loved her makeup as well she had such a really nice glittery just like completely glittery eye with a really nice warm crease and completely flawless matte skin so that is what I am recreating for today and if you want to see how you can get my interpretation of Adele's Glastonbury makeup 2016 then please keep watching